Hello and welcome to the latest yarn doll make along with Emma. I'm actually knitting today and I'm knitting some Barbara socks. Thank you for all the all the love we've had for our Barbara yarn. And for those of you that haven't knitted socks, um, and we've had lots of questions about socks, I thought I'd answer some of the questions today. So rather than making along, we're actually talking socks today. So the socks aren't talking, but I'm talking about socks. So I'll, I'll put my knitting down because I'm not very good at talking and actually knitting and concentrating. Although I am at the part on this sock where it is just lovely and relaxing because you just knit on the small circular needles and go round and round. So if you've never knitted socks and you think they're a bit tricky, they're actually very addictive once you get going. You just need a lot of patience to start with. But if I can do it, anyone can. So, Emma and knitting socks. I started knitting socks about four years ago. I had um, a voucher for Christmas and I went along to um, Pearl and Jane, which is our local yarn shop in Skipton. And the lovely Jane there taught me over two Sunday mornings um, to knit my first pair of socks. And they were these, I've still got them. And they were a double knit, so they're actually nice and quick and easy to knit up. Um, they're full of mistakes and actually they're my first pair of socks. They fit my feet, so I'm very pleased with them. Um, in the four years that I've, oh, there's a bit of moss there, I've had them outside. Um, in the four years that I've been knitting socks, I've actually knitted more than 30 pairs. I've just had a quick kind of count up, but I'm sure it could be a lot more than that. Um, and then I've attended other workshops. I went to Bar Am U, which is the shop, um, yarn shop in Leeds, which has moved now. But the lovely, fantastic Rachel Coopy taught me some more sock techniques. Um, so I've done toe up socks. I've done cuff down socks. I've done um, afterthought heels, short row heels, lot, lots of lots of different, different techniques. I mean, I've got my favourite, um, my kind of go to sock pattern, which is actually going from the cuff down because I can, I can do that almost without looking at the pattern. I do have to look at the pattern, but um, like I said, once you get going, it really is addictive. Um, I'm by no means an expert. Um, I've only been doing it four years. How could I possibly be? Um, so there are lots of fantastic online resources and you've probably heard of Winwick Mum. And Christine has got some fantastic patterns and tutorials. Um, you just can't go wrong really with her patterns. Um, I've also got a couple of books by Rachel Coopy, um, which I find a good resource. And then online, Coco Knits. I don't know if you know Coco Knits, but, but their, their tutorials and their short videos are really, really accessible. I, I find them easy to follow. Um, but I mean, everybody has their, their kind of favourite way of learning. And then well, one thing I've got saved on my phone, I've got an image of the Kitchener Stitch. Lots of people have got all the Kitchener Stitch. Um, and that is... If you're doing a, a, a sock from the toe, from, from the cuff, sorry, down, then let me get, get one here. It's it's finishing off, finishing off the end here and it, it it's fabulous, but it does take a lot of concentration. So I have the, the instructions that saved in a photo on my phone, so I've always got it with me wherever I am. So what do you need if you want to knit socks? Um, so people have asked about the different kinds of needles. Um, I use double pointed needles and I use a small circular. Um, so I start off with my double points, use a small circular and then I'm using my double points when I'm turning the heel. And then I use my double points again when I'm, I'm decreasing for the toe. So you might have seen in patterns DPNs, that's double pointed needles and small circular that you might have heard of Magic Loop. Um, it's not my personal favourite, but that's using a longer circular needle and lots of people do, do prefer that one. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be my go-to. Um, so you need some scissors and you need a darning needle and that's about it. And I think you can probably um, break down the knitting of a sock into 10 steps. I wouldn't say they're easy because if you've not knitted before, um, they're 10 separate steps, but they're 10 different techniques. And I reckon if you can crack those 10 different 
parts of the sock, then you could probably knit anything. And the beauty of a sock is it's not very big. So it's a small project, it's portable and really quite achievable. And actually, if you go wrong, I've learned that actually it really doesn't matter just to pull it back, just to frog it and have another go. Um, because, you know, we've all got to learn somehow, haven't we? So I reckon you can break it up into 10 steps. So the first step is casting on. The second step is the rib. So if I show you on, let's have a look on this one. So we cast on, we've got cast on edge. We've got a section of ribs, that's two. Then a nice easy section, number three, is just knitting in the round, the leg. And then section four is the heel flap. Section five is the magic bit where you turn the heel. Section six, you, you pick up stitches down the side of your heel. And then section seven, you're decreasing down the side, gusset. You might see it as written as a gusset in a pattern, but you're decreasing down until you get to the circumference of your foot. And then number eight is the is another easy bit, it's just knitting in the round, that's the foot. You go round and round and round and enjoy those lovely stripes. And then section nine is the decreasing for the toe. So you're decreasing down either side here. And then section 10 is a kitchen stitch. So 10 steps, 10 easy steps with patience and concentration, and you've got a sock. And then what's lovely is once you've cracked one sock, you've then got another one to knit, and the second sock is so much easier, and it's such a sense of achievement. So what we thought we'd do is not today, because I'm just talking socks today, and I've almost finished what I've got to say about socks, really. Um, what we thought we'd do is do 10 short videos of each section of the sock. So if you wanted to make along a Barbara sock, we'll do Barbara. Um, I will do the 10 steps, 10 easy steps. And I'll do 10 short videos and post them on here. And, and then you can have a go at each, each section on its own and just have a go, get that working and then move on to the next section. And you can watch it as many times as you want if it's, if it's on YouTube and um, just really practice and just enjoy those soothing stitches. So I've always got a pair of socks on the go. I've always got probably two pairs actually thinking about it. Um, I've got a pair of Barbara socks here and I've got another stripy pair in my, I call it my little room. It's very, very messy. It's like a cupboard. But it's my crafty room. So I've got another pair in there that I pick up and I usually have a pair in the car as well but I don't have a pair in the car at the moment because I've just finished a pair. Um, so that in a nutshell is, is talking socks. So if you haven't had a go at socks and you're thinking mm, it looks, looks very tricky, have a go. Okay and I, we will look forward to seeing you on our 10 short videos of how to knit socks. That's all for today. Bye.